Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today's Focus on Tools video is looking at one tool that I absolutely could not build models without and that is magnifying glasses. So it's a fact of life as we get older our eyes deteriorate and if we're really unlucky they deteriorate from quite an early age um, but mine have certainly been deteriorating in the last um, uh, five or six years um, and I'm at that point where I need some form of magnification to be able to build a model. And this is my third different set of magnifying glasses. So let's just talk about the various different types you can get. So this is an Optivisor and we'll come back and look at this in a little bit more detail in a sec. Um, but basically magnifying glasses come in a, quite a variety of um, different um, styles um, and it's becoming a little bit of a minefield and there is a lot of um, focused advertising going on for, for certain ones so uh, let me talk you through um, the different ones that I've had um, and the ups and downs of them so my first set of uh, magnifying glasses that I had um, were uh, um, a set which had um, a single lens that, that hung on the front, sat on your, uh, and you wore them like glasses. Um, so um, there was uh, um, two arms, then there was um, a device in the middle which had a light in it, and then suspended from it was a single lens um, in the middle. Um, which you looked through and it came with five different lenses and you could swap them out and they just clipped in. On my first, um, uh, when I bought them I thought well they, they look like they, they probably cover all bases. I rapidly found that because I wear reading glasses that they became a bit of a pain because if I needed to read um, instructions the magnification wasn't quite right so I'd swap them for my reading glasses so I constantly swap in. So that was my first observation. Um, but I persevered with them. Um, uh, the light fairly quickly stopped working. Um, but I didn't, and I, and I didn't really use it that much because if, as a modeler, if you've got your lighting right, you don't need the light on the front. Um, but it didn't work after um, two or three attempts at using it. Um, so. Um, I persevered with them and eventually what I found was um, swapping the lenses out for different magnification made the clip widen and then then the um, plastic uh, glasses became loose and rattled and that became really annoying and so I got a different pair um, and it was the, the same the same type of idea um, but with um, a headband so they sat on your ears still like this but had a headband round round the round the back because one of the other issues I'd had with the um, set that just sat on your glasses uh, on your on your ears like glasses was this bit here wasn't bent it was straight so when you were looking down there was a tendency for them to just slip <laughs> down down your nose and start sliding off and that was pretty irritating as well so my second set had a little head retaining band and I had the same issue with those I was still having to swap them for my glasses only they were more difficult to put on and off because of the headband and after a while um, the the lenses that you clipped in started to get loose and then rock from side to side uh, and it was really annoying so I then decided to go with these now these aren't perfect either um, but they are much better because this headband sits on the top of your head um, and that allows me to put my glasses on and off or leave them on with that sat above them and then I can move my, my lenses on and off as I need to. So that's why I bought these and I have found that has solved the problem of constantly changing my glasses. Okay, so this is the Optivisor. Um, the, they, they come in a variety of real, real wide range of prices, a variety of prices. 
um, and I think some of the cheaper ones might be copies um, and not the originals um, so look out for that now I don't know whether I've got an original or not it certainly came in an Optivisor uh, box when I bought it and I bought it from um, a website that specializes in tools so I think this is probably um, the, the, the right one um, but some of the ones I see on eBay um, they're almost half the price uh, and it just concerns me that maybe they're just not the same and you and they've got you know key little things like the adjusting nuts of plastic not metal so I imagine they might wear out over time anyway what you get when you buy it is you get one of these and you get one of these and in here is um, a whole variety of different lenses so you get four lenses in total um, all different strengths uh, 1.5 through to 3.5 times magnification um, I have it on uh, 2 at the moment which sort of works for me um, but I can go um, up to the 3.5 I don't often change them but I do occasionally if I'm doing some very small detail work I might put them on um, but in the main I find they're okay um, and I can have my glasses on underneath um, so how the lenses um, attach is there is a little plastic you can see there um, like clip one in each side and that they just push out um, which allows you to uh, swap out the visor window or clean it or whatever you need to do um, so just two holes there the plastic as you can see is fairly thick it doesn't flex it's uh, it's a good solid plastic um, and then it um, clips on each side here so just two little adjusting screws and what I what I do find is sometimes you can see there it's holding it I've taken it's a bit lighter because I've taken the lens off it's holding it fairly well but sometimes it'll just start to slowly slip down and you have to just tighten those up a little bit but you can do that without even taking your head off um, so it has a headband at the front um, I, I don't particularly like the headband um, it, it, it's plastic uh, cheap fat form plastic and it's serrated so it leaves marks on your forehead when you answer the door to the delivery man you look a bit odd um, so um, I, I would have preferred that to have been um, a, a cloth or something but I guess it's for hygiene purposes it, it's certainly easy to clean um, so yeah I don't have any uh, great problems um, with, with that either um, other than um, it, it leaves a mark um, I guess you could put a cloth or something in there um, if you wanted to. I, I've thought about it but never got around to, to trying it. Um, but yeah. And then at the back here you can see we've got a head adjuster which is a screw at the back. And again you can do that while it's on your head. And that just um, tightens up or loosens off. Um, so that can sit on your head and... Um, you can tighten it up at the back and loosen it up as you need and as you can see it can go to quite small I don't know if you can see the little cut out there you've got that on each side so you can tighten it all the way down to there so even a youngster will will manage with this if they need to so as well as the spare um, sorry the different range of lenses you do get some spare clips so you need two clips uh, it comes with an additional four I've had this, um, well I've had it since before the pandemic, so I've had it over two years now, and I'm still on the original clips, uh, and I do swap this out occasionally, but not all the time, so um, in terms of construction and quality of materials, I, I don't have an issue, um, the biggest drawback of it is that this sometimes drops and it tends to do it just at the moment when you're really concentrating um, but that's the and, and these things are difficult to adjust I mean I, I can't loosen them off anymore so you, you're just constantly tightening them um, 
so I don't know whether the plastic gets worn or it gets squashed or whatever, but uh, yeah, they do drop down occasionally, and that's the only drawback of them. Having had the, the different glasses types, um, I think this is my preferred type. Um, if I get to a point where I need to replace these, I might go for the ones that have the little individual lenses like a, a dentist might use or something, um, uh, or a jeweler, uh, and, and take a view as to whether that helps or, or not. Um, but then I'd be back to having the issue of having to swap my glasses. So um, I don't think there's a perfect solution for, for magnification, particularly if you wear glasses. But um, don't get sucked into buying cheap stuff with, with um, lots of gizmos on. You don't need a light. You don't need uh, anything else. You just need it to be magnifying glasses. And just have a think about what is likely to work for you if you wear glasses you probably want something that means you can leave them on without having to constantly take them off if you don't work, wear glasses then probably the others are, are, are more comfortable but do bear in mind that my experience with two different ones now is that the lenses wear um, quite quickly 18 months to two years so um, these things aren't cheap um, I, 35 pounds something like that I think I paid um, you might be able to find them cheaper you'll certainly find them more expensive so do shop around um, you probably find that places like Amazon and eBay aren't the best places to get them and if you go to somewhere like um, uh, an airbrush shop or tool shop that might be the, the the best approach to make sure you get in the right brand but there you go, um, I wouldn't be without it, I don't do any modelling um, at all without it, uh, except for some wooden ship stuff I can, I can um, get away with just my reading glasses, but in the main, 99% uh, of what I do, I'm wearing these, um, and I've found them to be great, like, a, like I've said, so there you go, I, that's my thoughts on um, uh, magnifying glasses, they're a great tool if you need them, um, but do shop around and do think about what's the right type for you. Okay, hope that was useful in some way. If you have any further questions about them, then you can put them in the comments. Um, thanks for looking in. Enjoy your modelling, and I will see you very soon.